O anti verdurous phallic, were it not for your pouring height, looming in tears like a sick tree, or your ever gaudy comfort jabbing your city's much wrinkled sky, you'd seem an absurd babble squatting before mortal millions. Because I filled your dull sockets with my New York City eyes, vibrations that hadn't doomed dumb empire state did not doom thee. Enough my eyes made you see phantasmal at night, mad children of soda caps, laying down their abundant blonde verse on the gridiron of each other's Eucharistic feet, like distant kings laying down treasures from camels. Illuminations hinged to masculine limbs, fresh with the labor sweat of cable car and Genoa Papa pushcart. Bounty of electricity and visions carpeted on pig bastard night in its spore, like the dim lights of some hallucinating facade. Our tower, from thy burialist head I'd a vision in common with myself, the proximity of Alcatraz and not the hip volley of white jazz and verse or verse and jazz embraced, but a real heart-rending, constant vision of Alcatraz marshaled before my eyes. Stocky Alcatraz weeping on Neptune's table, whose petrific bondage crushes the dreamless sea harp, gasping for song, all that that piece of sea fails to dream. Tower, I'd a verdure vagueness fixed by a green wind, the shade of mercy lashed with cold nails against the wheat weather western sky, weeping I'm sure for humanity's vast door to open, that all men be free, that both hinge and lock die, that all doors, if they close, close like Chinese bells. Was it man's love to screw the sky with monuments, span the bay with orange and silver bridges, shuttling structure into structure, incorruptible in this endless tie, each age and passions, be it in stone or steel, either in echo or half-heard room? Was it man's love that put that rock there, never to avalanche, but in vision or this imaginary now, or myself standing on Telegraph Hill, Knob Hill, Russian Hill, the same view always, Alcatraz like a deserted holiday. And I cried for Alcatraz there in your dumb hollows, O Tower, clenching my pan's foot with vivid horde of Danamora. Cried for that which was no longer sovereign in me, stinking of dead dreams, dreams I yet feign to bury, thus to shun reality's worm. Dreams that once jumped joyous bright for my heart, like sparks issued from a wild sharper's wheel, now issued no longer. Were it not for cities or prisons, O tower, I might yet be that verdure monk, lulling over green country albums, with no greater dream than my youth's dream. Eyes of my hand, Queen Penicillia and her tribe, messenger stars, Dr. Deformus back from his leprosy and woe, Thracian ships, joy prince of pure air, impossible for me to betray even the simplest tree. Idiotic Colossus, I came to your city during summer after Cambridge, there also no leaf throbbed between my fingers, no cool insect thrilled my palm, though I'd a vision there, death seated like a huge black stove. Inspired, I came to your city, walked Market Street, singing hawk hawk, the dogs do bark, the beggars are coming to town, and ran mad in Golden Gate, into Sausalito, and fell exhausted in a field, where an endless scarecrow lay its head on my lap. How happily mad I was, O Tower, lying there amid gossipy green, dreaming of Quetzalcoatl, as I arched my back like a rainbow over some imaginary gulf. Oh, for that madness again, that infinitive solitude where illusion spoke me truth's divine dialect. I should have stayed, yet I left to Mexico, to Quetzalcoatl, and heard there atop Teotihuacan in tea prophetic Quaxacali voice, a dark anthem for the coming year. Ah, oh, tower, tower, that I felt sad for Alcatraz, and not for your heroes, lessened not the tourist love of my eyes. I saw your black-jacketed saints, your zens, pot-smokers, Athenians, and coxmen. Though the west wind seemed to harbor there, 
not one pure Shellian dream of, let's say, hay-like universe, golden heap on a wall of fire, sprinting toward the gauzy eradication of swindler-esque ink. Thank Finny. You.